Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Bowen here, and today we are just going to quickly review how to solve a story problem and what some strategies you can use are. We've talked about this already, but I just wanted to go through it one more time today. So, how do you solve a word problem? First thing, you read the story. If you're unable to read it yourself, you have someone read it out loud to you, and you need to think, what is the story asking me to solve? What do I need to know? How can I solve this? Here's a great strategy. Number two, circle the numbers. So as you're reading the story and you hear someone read a number or you see a number, circle it, because those are the numbers that you're going to need in your number sentence later on. Underline the keywords. We've had lessons about the keywords. Words like in all, all together. Those are keywords that make our brain think, hmm, in all, in all means to add, because it's saying put two numbers together. So you want to circle the numbers and underline the key words so that you really understand the story problem. Okay, then you want to draw the picture. Drawing a picture is a great way to help your brain figure out what is the question asking. So if it's saying in all, um, you could draw the first number, which is three, and the second number, which is two, and then you know that you need to add them together when you hear in all. And then your last step is for you to write the number sentence. Remember, it's not enough. It's not enough to circle it. It's not enough to underline it. It's not enough to draw a picture. Our final step so that we can see your thought process is to write the number sentence. So it's the numbers that you circled, and then the, un the underlying keyword will tell you, are we adding, or we haven't really talked about subtracting all that much, but eventually we will. So in this case, it'd be three plus two equals, and then you would solve it, okay? Their word problems are very tricky, but I have total faith that you can do it. Just remember our five steps when doing the word problems, and I know you'll be able to figure it out.